Hey travelers, it's LSD 789 with another video. I want to show you where you can find all the parts for the prototype robots. First one's right at the entrance. We start here, now we are here. This is the prototype head. Yes, exactly. We want to bring this to the repair lab. And I will show you now where the other locations are. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys there. And now we are at the second location for the second item, I'll show on the map. Just went through there, use one of the airlifts to go down here. And this is where we are. Okay. You see we the uh, spider webs here. We need to kill this enemy. No, we don't have to, but we can. There we go. Here's the second item, the prototype arm. Now we need two more items. But yeah, I will see you guys at the next location. Hey. Hi. The third part's right here. I'll show it on the map. It's on the broken bridge all the way to the end. I went from this waypoint down to this waypoint and then I went in here. This should be the claw. Prototype claw. There we go. Now we need one more item, that's the memory chip, and there's something special about it, but I'll see you guys at the memory chip. Hey. Hello. Now I'll show you where the fourth and last item is. It's in the Riddled Necropolis. It's almost uh, near the Elapsistora boss fight. And we want to use this glider over here. And we want to go down below there. That should be the memory core. And there's something special about the memory core. If you uh, insert the memory core in the prototype, you uh, get a boss fight and you get a mutator. But you can also inspect the memory core. And if you insert it when you inspect it, the prototype will be friendly. But I'll show you. So here's the prototype memory core. If you go to your inventory, and you inspect it. You can press the button on the top here. And that will change the color. And this means it's friendly. And if you insert it like this, you will get uh, this ring. Uh, the alternator. Incoming shield grants 150 and shield generated as mod power. So yeah, if the memory core is blue, you get that ring. If you change it back, and sort of like this, we're gonna have a boss fight. But yeah, I will see you guys at the prototype. Hi. Hello. So yeah, now we are at the repair lab checkpoint. I'll show it on the map. It's in the first area. If you go in here, here should be the robot we need to repair. Like I said, depending on what color you put the memory core, you're gonna have a fight or you're gonna have a friendly robot. I already, I already did a friendly uh, solution, so now I'm gonna fight him. Attach the prototype, prototype head. Give him more items. The arm. And the most important part. So again, if the memory core is red, you're gonna have a fight. And if it's blue, you're gonna get a ring. But yeah, we're gonna have a fight now. Analyzing. Please stand by. 
Confirm. Restoration complete. Threat elimination systems are fully operational. The intruder is no longer necessary and is advised to execute its death preparation sequence. Here we go. Shields Elsnator Ring and the Charged Wounds Mutator. Charged Wounds should be here. Increase the weapon fire rate and reload speed by 2.5 per overload entity within 50 meters, max tax 5. This weapon range weak spots and range crit chance applies overload, dealing 120 shock damage over 10 seconds. Yeah, this one's really good to uh, apply shock. We also got the alternator ring. Here it is. Activating a mod uh, that costs 100 mod power or greater generates a shield for 23 with the max health and lasts 15 seconds and cannot stack with itself. So yeah, you get this by finding him. And if you are friendly with him, you're gonna get this ring, incoming shields. So together, these are really good. So yeah, I hope uh, this video helped you. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD seven eight nine. Out.